all right so this here is my lighting equipment let me show you closely this is a 30 watts energy saver bulb and you can see it's a shoe box and i got aluminium glued to the walls of the box and this is basically let me show you clearly this is a car sun protector i used it to protect my car from sunlight because i live in a very hot part of the world so when the car would be parked outside i would use this screen to protect the seats from uh, getting too hot i would point the lights towards the sunscreen just like this this is me after turning the lights on let me turn off the lights and let's see now the lights are turned off and you can see the difference is clear this is my green screen it is hardly a meter by meter I have glued this chart paper to the wall using some really cheap glue and the line in the middle you can see there's a line in the middle I would sit in front of this line so that it won't show when I'm recording <laughs> and here is my laptop it's a Dell and I got Windows 10 installed on it this is the laptop cooling pad it keeps my machine cool when I'm editing the videos and here is the microphone which I have been using Samsung Q1U along with a pop filter I also bought a proper microphone stand here you can see it's a large one and I would mount the microphone on that for recording of my new course Samsung I also had a windshield for this microphone but I have taken it off because I feel like this microphone already contains a very good windshield so I don't really need it the pop filter on the other hand I believe is very useful when I started recording I bought this microphone I bought it for like five dollars and I used it for my first few lectures of my second course I must say that quality is clearly bad the quality of this microphone is nowhere near this microphone this is awesome this is a wonderful cardioid microphone so I would use this microphone and put these two socks on this microphone there were a few things along the way which I bought but I did not use for example this cloth I bought it for like five dollars or four dollars and this stapler as well I haven't used it so far stapler also cost me like two or three dollars but it doesn't matter I believe these things will be used later on so this is pretty much all the equipment that I have on the computer I bought Camtasia Studio I spent like 150 dollars uh, Udemy helped me to buy Camtasia Studio with a coupon code I'm thankful to them so this is pretty much all of the stuff that I have for my courses these lights here this glue these lights this screen this laptop which I already had this microphone some extra stuff and by the way I used this headphone this headphone mounted microphone for my first course and I must mention milk it also played a very important role Without drinking milk almost every day, maybe I won't have the energy to record the course. Here is a selfie stick. I bought it for like five dollars or four dollars, and I use it to I use it as a tripod instead of a selfie stick. Ta-da! I forgot to mention one thing. This wireless Logitech mouse was also very helpful for me. The mouse was still very useful when I was recording my talking head and the iphone hands free these were also very useful because i can like press these buttons and start stop recording because i was using my iphone 5s as the camera so this stuff was also very helpful when i was recording um, the talking head for recording audio when i was recording the talking head i used audacity i just plugged the samsung mic in the in the pc and i recorded the video with the iphone and then i later on like 
took the iPhone video recording and the Audacity audio recording and took both to the Camtasia studio and then synced them together in Camtasia and voila. And I also said that I used the front camera of my iPhone for recording because uh, the picture is clear enough. The front camera recordings are good enough. You can see right now I am still recording with the front camera of my iPhone 5s. There is a shadow in the background. I can move around. I can basically move the camera slightly and I can see if the shadows are going away or not or if maybe I am like going out of the green screen or something. And my tripod keeps screwing up. It's a shitty tripod, I must say. <laughs> it's a really shitty tripod. Cheap things are shitty, you know. Um, now it is tilted on a side. The frame is tilted. Let me fix it. So when you're making a new course, you don't need all of these things. If it is your first course, I would say that you can live without all of these things. You can get a 30 days free trial version of Camtasia Studio and you can use it for your course. I used that for my first course and I produced a reasonably good quality course. I have made about a 500 bucks off that course for now by now. So you don't need all of these fancy things and you don't need to buy the fancy light kits and all sorts of things which are available in the market. Basically, the success is about the idea, the course idea that you have and the passion that you basically have for teaching it took me about two months recording my second course took me almost two months my course got approved on 11th of november that was right in time for uh, the black friday sales i will be fixing my first course as well so but i there is no rush for that because i know i can fix that before black friday so basically you have to spend time, you need to have a very reasonably good idea and then you need to spend some time. You got to be in it to win it. That's the point. It's a very important thing that course market is really big these days. So you got to be in it if you got to be, you got to win it. I'm not a native English speaker. I'm a young man or not so young man from Pakistan. I am a middle-aged man from Pakistan. I have made this course. I have shown you the equipment which I used. And one more thing I spent, I have spent almost like $300 or maybe $400. Yes, I have spent almost $400 on course creation on this equipment so far. I am not charging money for the time which I have spent. And do hire a freelancer. Do hire a freelancer for animations or and other things. I also hired a freelancer recently. Uh, the young man created me a promo video it was a video with kinetic typography it was a really decent video and he made it for me in like just like in 15 dollars it's a 1500 rupees pakistani it was very cheap so the key takeaways from this video are first of all you don't need to spend a lot of money on fancy stuff to record a course secondly you can do good things with the trial version of camtasia and other things and like you need to keep it simple okay keep it simple you don't need fancy stuff you have to keep things simple and thirdly the idea is important the idea is supreme the course idea is supreme and the passion you put behind your idea is going to make it or break it hey it's hiding my face yeah that's not that's better <laughs> okay and fourth one um what is the fourth one i actually don't remember what is the fourth one blah 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 <laughs> okay that, that, that's key day. thank you very much for time yeah the fourth one is the fourth one is yes fourth one is do outsource your uh, mundane tasks and focus on your core focus on your core competency core competency yes have a good day i hope this video will be helpful for you and have a good day and if you have a course idea i would say just do it